Mendel also mated true breeding plants that differed in two traits, for example seed texture and seed color. These were termed dihybrid crosses. From his work with monohybrid crosses involving these traits, Mendel knew that the smooth seed trait is dominant over the wrinkled seed trait, and the yellow seed trait is dominant to the green seed trait. The smooth seed trait can be designated as big S, and the wrinkled seed trait can be designated as little s. Similarly, the dominant yellow seed trait is designated big Y, and the recessive green trait is designated little y. Because these plants are true breeding, they are homozygous for these traits and are designated big S, big S, big Y, big Y versus little s, little s, little y, little y. We know that Mendel's factors are genes, and genes occur in pairs on homologous chromosomes in diploid organisms. Therefore, the genotypes of these plants can be depicted on the chromosomes as shown. What will happen when these two plants are mated? Because the plants are homozygous, the haploid gametes have only one possible combination of alleles to receive. When these gametes join, the resulting progeny has only one genotype, heterozygous for both traits, and one phenotype, the dominant smooth and yellow seed traits. Let's consider the gametes the doubly heterozygous F1 plant can produce. Two alleles for the seed texture trait, big S and little s, and two alleles for the seed color trait, big Y and little y. Thus, four different combinations of these two genes can be made. If the F1 generation was self-crossed, each parent makes these four types of gametes in equal proportions. The resulting combinations of alleles in the F2 generation can be seen using a Punnett square. For example, the top left corner of the square would receive the big S and big Y alleles from both parents, and thus be big S, big S, and big Y, big Y. The rest of the square can be filled in similarly. Of the 16 possible combinations of gametic fusions, nine different genotypes are produced. However, due to dominance effects, only four phenotypes result in the F2. Nine show both dominant traits, smooth and yellow. Three show the traits dominant smooth and recessive green. Three show the traits recessive wrinkled and dominant yellow, and one shows both recessive traits wrinkled and green. The 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio is seen in dihybrid crosses when the two pairs of traits are inherited independently of one another in the production of gametes. From these and similar results, Mendel proposed his second law, the principle of independent assortment, which states that the factors for different traits assort independently of one another. In modern terms, this means that genes on different chromosomes behave independently in the production of gametes.